There are stories on how people came back to Judaism out of nowhere. They didn't have no clue about their Judaism. They didn't even thought about it. They never even crossed their minds to think, maybe I'm Jewish. They were not aware to that concept, Judaism. And they found themselves suddenly doing something that changed their life forever. I told that story so many times. A woman that she thought that she was Christian, she went to the Western Wall in a religious Christian tour, missionary tour to Israel. She went to the Western Wall and to the holy places and she started crying. And she cannot stop herself from crying and she doesn't know what's happening with her. And all of her friends, everyone are, oh yes, it's very exciting here. It's a very, it's like, it's, it's deep, it's whatever. And she can't stop crying. And she cried for hours and hours and hours, cannot relax. She was devastated. She didn't know what to do with her life. She, all of that tour, all of that trip to Israel was a disaster for her. She came back with her Christian friends back to, to the U.S. She came to her mother. She started telling her, Mother, please help me to understand myself. I don't know what happened to me. I don't know what's going on with me. Please give me advice. Do you know what happened to me over there? And her mother doesn't know. She can't understand. She, we don't know. And she felt horrible, deep depression and sorrow. Went to speak with her grandmother. Came to her grandmother's house and started telling her on her visit in Israel. And her grandmother became pale. Lost all of her color, doesn't know, like she's not talking, cannot speak. And the daughter, the granddaughter asks her, Granny, what happened? What, 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 what's, what's the matter? Just tell me, do you, what, you have something in your mind? Are you worried? She said, no, everything's okay. I don't want to talk about it anymore. Like, what happened? And she's asking and asking and asking. And in the end, that grandmother sat on the sofa and started crying. So immediately the granddaughter called her mother and they're all sitting with the grandmother asking her what happened please and she's refusing to talk after hours of, of, of uh, convincing her to open her mouth to talk the grandmother told them I was a kid, a girl in the days of the Holocaust and all of my family been killed, slaughtered in front of my eyes and a certain family hidden her for, for a certain time and she was the only survivor from all of her family and she made an oath that she will never going to tell no one that she was Jewish. So she hid herself as Christian because she was terrified to be killed based on her Judaism. Now she is Jewish and her daughter is Jewish and her granddaughter is Jewish and everyone are Jewish and that's it. And how the granddaughter realized that she is a Jew and all of the Judaism came back to the family life because Hashem decided to break her heart in the Western Wall against all logic, against all understanding. She was Christian, she was missionary, she went to, the, to Israel to visit the holy places that, for Christianity based on her foreign faith. And she found out that she's Jewish. And how did we find out that we're Jewish? Everyone, Hashem touched him in a different way. One Hashem woke him up from a divorce crisis. One Hashem woke him up out of a financial crisis. One Hashem Barach woke him up. Suddenly he tasted the taste of Shabbat in some Jewish house of Chabad in, in Nicaragua, in Timbuktu, somewhere in the, in the, in the mountains. And, and Hashem touched his heart. And then you woke up and that's it. And from that day and on, you're not going to be the same person. Based on what? On the truth that you felt. Your truth. It's just a temporary world that in this world, in this period of time, we have a mission. What's the mission? The mission is only not to forget the Creator. To remember that it's all He. Never to fall in the trap of all of those coverings, of all of those husks. husks.